All right, what's up YouTube family? Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk to you this time about black men's hair care tips. So this is for people with coarse hair, curly hair. It doesn't have to be that coarse or that curly. If you feel like it applies to you or somebody you know, please share it with them. And just for the record, my goal here is to be helpful, not perfect. I know some people expect that nowadays, but for these three tips, the overarching theme is to decrease breakage of the hair. So whether that's on your face, your head, um, we don't want it to break off after you grow that hair out. And then the second part of the theme is to stimulate healthy hair growth. Okay, so let's jump right into it. With tip number one, it is to use a moisturizer and conditioner. And these two things are different. I don't even know, or actually when guys will get a chance to talk about this, it's not like we had a class or anything about our hair. I know ladies talk about it more, but anyway, a moisturizer and conditioner are a little bit different. So moisturizers go a little bit deeper into the hair follicle. The most moisturizing thing that you can do to your hair is to add water. But the thing about moisturizing with water is that it doesn't stay inside the hair follicle very long. So it'll evaporate pretty quickly. And a moisturizer, what it does is helps the water and the penetrating oils stay inside the hair follicle longer. So it stays moisturized longer, if that makes sense. And then the conditioner, I'll put a picture up too. So like uh, shingles on the outside of the hair, the conditioner kind of, kind of works with um, oils that sit on top and other chemicals that help to lay the hair follicle down and make it smooth and feel nice and the way you want it to feel. So those two work a little bit differently. The moisturizer works on the inside and then the conditioner works on more of the outside of the hair shaft or the outside of the hair follicle. So you need to use those two together to make sure that your hair is not breaking off, like we said. So that's tip number one. So tip number two is to stimulate blood flow in your scalp. So your scalp or whatever part of your face is growing hair out of it. You want to stimulate blood flow in the skin. So the skin is where the hair is actually processed and it needs blood flow in order to do its job correctly. So for the hairs to grow right, you need to have as much blood flow as possible. So like hair loss treatments, a lot of the chemicals used for that, like minoxidil, are used to increase blood flow in the scalp or increase blood flow wherever you put it. So there's some stimulating oils that can do the same thing, kind of like peppermint oil, tea tree oil, and there's some other ones I'll leave down in the comments. But what you wanna do is either manually stimulate or manually and with some type of oil or product stimulate the blood flow to your hair. So brushing stimulates hair growth, it stimulates the blood flow, I mean, and also combing through, but combing like the skin or like brushing the actual skin that stimulates the hair growth and hair blood flow, which stimulates the growth. So same with the scalp and beards, you wanna stimulate that blood flow with either like manually with a brush or a comb, uh, massaging through. If you have longer hair, you wanna make sure that you can stimulate the blood flow. So that is tip number two. Tip number three, last but not least is tip number three, and that is keeping your scalp or your facial pores unclogged. Wherever you want the hair to grow, you don't want it to be clogged up. And the way that that does get clogged up is from either your natural oils or your products being left alone too long. So you don't want your natural oils to sit on your scalp and then accumulate dust and dirt and debris from your everyday life on your scalp too long. Because when it stays there too long, you'll build up bacteria and it'll get down into those pores and that'll help, that won't help stimulate blood flow, at least not in a positive way. You don't want it to be inflamed and have blood flow because there's some type of like bacterial buildup or infection. So you wanna make sure you keep your scalp pores unclogged and you wanna do that with a shampoo. You wanna do that by, like we were saying, stimulating that blood flow by brushing, combing, at least massaging through to make sure there aren't any clumps to make sure that you don't have any areas that are like matted or left alone for a long time. Cause just like anything else, if you just leave it alone, it won't grow. So you wanna make sure that you keep the scalp pores unclogged and using a shampoo to do that, at least I would say, if you don't wanna be one of the once a week people, or twice a week people, at least every other week to make sure that the oils on your scalp 
are not just building up. So the shampoo actually breaks down the oils to get them out of your scalp. So, you know, you want to keep your natural oils, but you do want to remove and strip everything away every once in a while to make sure that they're not building up with any like additional dirt and debris. So make sure you get a good shampoo and make sure that you aren't letting your scalp, your facial pores or any of the pores on your beard get built up. So that's tip number three, exfoliate your skin. That helps. I know it's not something guys normally talk about, but make sure that you're getting all the dead stuff off your skin so it doesn't build up. That's tip number three. Okay, it's been a few minutes. I had to come back and add this bonus section. There's three other things that'll help too, but I didn't want to add them in and make it confusing. So one, wear protection. This is one on the bonus list, so wear protection. So that's some type of like satin cloth, a do-rag, a satin pillowcase to keep your hair from letting all the moisture get sucked back out when you go to sleep. So if you got a cotton pillowcase, if you got a cotton pillow, when you lay down, it will suck all of the conditioners, all the good stuff, the oils that you just put into your hair out. So that's number one. Number two is getting enough sleep so that your body can heal itself and repair and grow those new hair follicles out. So sleep and then water, making sure that you're hydrated. Most of us most likely don't drink enough water. I'm not gonna say exactly how much because I'm not a doctor, but I like to drink as much water as I can. Uh, it's usually not a half a gallon. I try to get a half a gallon in a day, but it will help. It'll help you boost your mood overall and increase your hair productivity, if that's what we wanna call it. That's what this is about, right? So, no, go ahead and like or subscribe. Share this with somebody if it helps them, if it helped you. So hopefully sharing will help somebody else and help somebody else. And then it'll give me a chance to keep talking to you. And otherwise, yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.